Hello, everybody. So uh, I apologize in advance to the light and the and the um, camera problems today. It is what it is, and we're just going to go ahead. So I want to talk to you about the most important um, thing in non-duality, the most important pointer, the most important thing that I could possibly help anybody with. It's what I actually help everybody with over and over again. So what is this problem? So let me put it to you via a question. When awakening occurs, what is it that wakes up? Now, if you said, if you thought I was going to say who and you were going to go this, mm -mm. I'm asking what wakes up. And you're not a what, right? The, you don't even know what you are, but I do. And you're not a what. You're beyond all what's. But this fundamental problem about what is it that wakes up, this is what trips everybody up. It's what trips every non-dual seeker since the time, since the time began. They all trip on this. You tripped on this. I tripped on this. Everybody pretty much trips on this. Might be a spontaneous awakening somewhere that really actually came into clarity. But I, most of the time that there's a spontaneous awakening, they will come see me anyway um, because th there's not any clarity there until there is. And um, we can usually help them with that pretty quick. But what is it that wakes up? up. So let me tell you what I've discovered about this body. It's just strange, but you know, it's just, this is the truth, absolute truth. So what I have discovered is that this body is not me. Now, that doesn't tell me much about what I am, but it certainly tells me a great deal about what I'm not. And this has been my own discovery, my own eyes, and I have helped hundreds of other people, uh, many hundreds of other people see this as well. And where they, they came to see the exact same thing that I came to see, which is the exact same thing that everybody who is, who's, who has had an awakening, whether it was a glimpse or it lasted 10 years, whatever, it's the, it's the very same thing. Who is it? What is it that wakes up? So, what wakes up is not the unit. Let's get that straight first. This unit has, can't, doesn't have the capacity to wake up. The unit, this unit can go to sleep, but, but the thing that wakes up, it never sleeps, right? It's the, this sleeps, and it's, but it's right there. As soon as this thing wakes up, it's right there, yeah? So <clears throat> what wakes up? is consciousness itself. That's what wakes up. Uh, consciousness is the means by which this talking is occurring, means by which the hearing is occurring. It's the means by which the light that we have is here. It, it, the consciousness is, and it, this consciousness is it's even beyond that, uh, but we're not gonna go beyond that today. We're just gonna stick with consciousness. So, Consciousness is the is absolutely, this is absolutely true. The consciousness is the foundation of everything. And no consciousness, no everything. No consciousness, nothing. What is the experience like of no consciousness? It isn't. There's no experience uh, to be had in the absence of, con uh, of, of consciousness. It's just, it's, it, it's, the, it's not the experience of no experience just zero right it's just void so but it's not bad void it's not good void i'm just saying it's just void so we have these we have these illusions that we're going to wake up and and when we say we're we mean whatever it is that got a hold of this unit Whatever it is that's directing this unit, whatever it is that's driving this unit, whatever it is that's making the decisions this unit makes, that, that it, make, it appears to make, and whatever it is that uh, makes this unit act the way it acts. 
And that's true. That is what wakes up. But that is not, a, that's not a, a Bob or a Carol or a Ted or an Alice or a Fred or a Betsy or anybody else. What that is, is it's consciousness itself is what wakes up. And consciousness is, is what's, it's at the moment, what we have is conscious awakeness. In other words, there's, a, there's only awakeness, which is prior to consciousness. So there's only awakeness prior to consciousness, but upon the, the outburst of consciousness, upon we could say the birth of consciousness, because that's sort of what, it, it, it's what appears to be born when a child is born. But it's not, the, it, the unit, the, the unit really is just, it, it, it's like we get a, like a can of pop and we think that it's the can that, that we got it for, but the can is just a container. It's, it, and what we're interested in is what's inside the container that's actually running the container. Well, it's not running the container. It is just allowing the container to, to, be, at a, to be as it is. There's something here that is just happening. And when something's just happening, there's nobody doing it. And I'm telling you, there's no one driving this bus. This unit doesn't drive itself. It's not possible. This unit is not, if you withdraw the, the animating presence, if you withdraw the energy, if you will, and what you've got yourself is you've got yourself an animated cadaver, just that simple. You've got yourself a, a, a dead body with a black hat on, right? And, and, it, and, and a funny kind of uh, accent, what I hear, although it certainly doesn't sound funny to me, but... The, uh, that's what I hear. So it can't be the unit that wakes up because the units do not have the capacity to wake up. So the next time you say, oh, I can't wait till I wake up, get your hand off your chest, right? Better yet, don't ever say that again, just from the standpoint of just say, oh, I, I hope awakening occurs. But don't say to me because then you've already gone past the awakening. Awakening cannot occur in what you think. It cannot occur in your presence, meaning the character. Everybody wants to be there for the awakening, right? Everybody wants to see it. Everybody wants to experience it. Everybody wants to, to get a good picture so they can tell everybody about it. That's the most important part of awakening is that you get to tell other people, I'm awake. And when you do that, you're lying through your teeth because there is no awakened being. There's no true awakened Fred or, or, or no awakened individual on the planet. What there is that's awake on the planet is awakeness itself. And awakeness itself, and I guess we did go there after all. So awakeness itself, the, when, when this body somehow magically manifests, I don't understand it. I don't need to. I don't care. But when this body manifests, then apparently simultaneously, there is um, there's consciousness. And man, that thing's driving me crazy. <laughs> there. It looks like I had one great big brown ear, black ear. So um, that looks like I've got two big black ears. The um, so it's it the body has no capacity to wake up. So you and you are not the body. The body is not you. The body is not you. What you are is what's listening to this, and what you are that's listening to this is awakeness. <laughs> It's a whiteness via consciousness, listening, a whiteness via consciousness, via the body, via the, the mouth here. A whiteness is speaking and listening and all of this. And a whiteness is, is, is the foundation of everything. The consciousness is the foundation of everything. Whiteness too, but it's a little further back. So consciousness is the foundation of everything. No, no consciousness, no everything. No conscious, no nothing. So it's again, it's not what is it like without consciousness? There is no what is without consciousness. Consciousness is not, it's kind of what is itself, but 
it allows for all of this illusion to take place. This is great. I mean, I don't, I don't want to run it down because it's an illusion. I don't think that we should ignore it because it's an illusion. I think we should enjoy adore the hell out of it and live to the, 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 the happiest and hardest and everything else that we can because that's our job here. That's what we're... That, that that's what we're here for is these things are here for experiencing but it's not for the units experiencing this is just the avatar it's it, it's it's the experiencing of the gamer through the avatar in this virtual world so when you think that you are the avatar you believe that it's the avatar that's going to wake up and everything's going to be great for the avatar from then on. That's the, that's the great dream of non-dual seekers. And, and, and it will never, ever in a million years happen. And there's no teacher, on the, no authentic teacher on the planet that would ever argue with that. They really would not. This is the absolute truth. It's not just me that's seeing it. It's just me that's talking about it. For some reason, we seem to avoid these topics more often than we talk about them directly. Uh, we, think we, we put out loads and loads of poetry, but you know, not enough mud, so to speak. Not enough slap in the face mud. But this is, this is mud, slap in the face mud. And, and <laughs> it's, gonna, it's just coming out the way it comes out. It's not, I have no control of it. The, the, the eye that thinks it is has no control over this. There's no Fred, but there's a sense of Fred. Not very profound anymore, but it's still a sense of Fred. So what we want to, to know is if it's not this, if it's not the body that wakes up, then it must be the mind, right? It's the mind that wakes up. I'm going to ask you, a, 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 is this an old Zen koan, which is, can you show me, or at least it's a Zen question, can you show me a mind that is empty of thought? Can you show anybody a mind that is empty of thought? No. So when we're talking about mind, what we're talking about is a thinking box. But what I want you to know is, notice is that these thoughts arise, but they arise as they do. They don't arise because they arise like you want them to. And you can't stop them from arising. They just arise. So the more you try to stop thought, the more... the, the the more uh, in, in embedded it becomes. And you'll just never get rid of it. We don't need to get rid of it. How about that? Thought is not our enemy. We just need to recognize it for what it is. And we need to recognize what it is not. Thoughts arise and they can be believed or they can be questioned. They're believed automatically. That's what we're programmed to do. Is it was an automatic program that we just we have, we've almost got no chance at all. We do have a chance, but it ain't much. And because it's just the default position here for human being is that thoughts arise and a a unit will a, a so called whatever it is. There's a habitual claiming of it. It's just patterns, folks. All of this is patterns, but it's just, there's nothing other than patterns within the cosmic suit, which is also some kind of big pattern, I imagine. <laughs> I don't know. I, I think I'll not go down to, to, to explaining what the cosmic soup is today, since I don't know. See? Um, you can know the void, but what we mean by real, that really is that you can know of the void, but you can't know the void because it's a void. <laughs> And there's nothing to know. And when you tell me that you visited the void, the only thing I can tell you is that it wasn't a void when you were there. It was a void with something in it. So why none is it with none is plus one. <laughs> and that one will soon become two. 
as the Tao Te Ching says. One becomes two, and two will very quickly become the 10,000 things. So one thought, two thoughts, the 10,000 things. Boom! It's the explosion of the world, and it really comes about mostly through language. We get embedded in language. We get wedded to language. We, we just can't. Our language gets embedded in us as we wed it. And we believe language, just like we believe thoughts, because what is language? It's thoughts caught up in, with symbols that we call words, yeah? And we, we try to express the thoughts through the symbols. So we and we can't ever get them quite right, which is the reason that I have to confess to you right now that I am just a very, very good liar. That's the reason I have been able to do what I have done in the last 15 years of teaching, well, however long it is. 2000, uh, 2000, no, a dozen years of teaching. Sorry, I don't see the unit would like to spread that out and make himself sound like more of an old wizened uh, 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 guy than he really is. I'm old, <laughs> no doubt about that. But the wizened part, I don't know. That's up to you. So, what we have to come to see is that. Um, there, there's, the mind is really just thought. It's just thoughts. There's no mind. There's no container for them. We, the brain processes them, but it doesn't initiate them. We think it does. And you can do a lot of things with brain stuff and everything like that. But I can tell you, you can also do a lot of brain stuff that you can watch on YouTube, which is where the, an arm begins to move and you can, you can check it in the brain and there will be a light. As soon as this thing starts to move, there will be a light in the brain. And we can think that that brain initiated that thought. But if we look at it very, very closely, what we can see is that the arm moved and then the light came on. And the light came on to explain, to give a story to why the arm mo is moving. And then the arm decides to do something else. And our idea is I changed my mind. But no, you didn't. <laughs> Right? It just, the arm changed, where it was changed its direction. And you didn't make it do that, and neither did God. There's no, there's no driver to this bus whatsoever. And I, I don't want to get into the, the subject of <clears throat> what God is or isn't, or, you know, or all that stuff. That's too highfalutin for me. I'll leave that to you. What I, I know is one thing, is that the body is not you. And this is what you have to get here today. It's the big trap. It's the biggest trap in non-duality. And it's the one that some people never get out of. Some people get out of for an afternoon or an hour or 10 seconds. It's a flash, but it's a flash that they will never, ever forget. And they will, if they ever get into non-duality, they'll start regarding that flash as a glimpse, which is exactly what it is. A glimpse of what? A glimpse of truth. By what? Well, folks, once we get at rid of what's false, the truth is all that's left. So there's something here that's talking about awakening. There's something here that's talking about traps and awakening and all of that. And what is the something that's here? I can tell you, I have been in, around this teaching in one form or another for 35 years. Started out with Zen in um, 2008. So I think that'll calculate up to about 35 years. And in, uh, might even have been 2007. Well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. The, uh, What we got to see is that what wakes up is something beyond the body. What wakes up is something beyond the mind. So when you're thinking, damn, I've just got to wake up, what is that? That's a pattern. And it goes like this. And as soon as it wakes up, you know what that pattern is replaced with? It's replaced with another pattern. And the another, another pet second pattern says, I should be clearer than this. I really should be clearer than this. <laughs> Fred, I really should be clearer than this. And they'll say it in a thousand different ways, but it always comes back to you. Fred, I should be clearer than this. And, 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 and the reason they think that is that they know in their, 
the, either through their own direct experience or their the, the belief in their teacher or something, they've heard that this is a perfect world and you got to believe, I mean, the, that it's a perfect world, but you can't believe it's a perfect world because you haven't seen that. And you have to see it for yourself to really get what we're talking about, to really believe it. But everybody is trying to believe it because there's some sense that there's just one thing going on. I believe in oneness. But what I want to tell you when we say I believe in oneness, there's no I there. There's no I to believe in oneness. There's no I that believes in awakening. There's just a false reference. I is a false reference. Look for it. That's what Ramana suggested. Look for it. Can you find the I. What do you mean when you say I? Well, I mean this and the thing that inhabits this. Well, this is a dead body and what's inhabiting it is, is beyond uh, even consciousness. Well, excuse me. It is, be, it, it is, it is, uh, well, it, it, it actually is beyond consciousness, but it's doing so in the guise of consciousness itself. Uh, so, but there's no there's no Fred here that ever woke up. I looked for Fred for 24 years. I never found him. And then one day, I gave up on looking for Fred. And don't don't think you can trick yourself into doing this. It's just that you can just be driven so crazy that at some point there's a giving up, and you know, and it can be because I'm suffering because of my life conditions. It can be I'm suffering because. I am sick of, I'm just so sick of seeking. I'm so sick of reading these non-dual books. I'm so sick of watching these non-dual teachers on YouTube. I am so sick. I am so sick. I am so sick. Because non-duality is, you know, um, it's basically a disease, you know. That's the truth. We catch a disease. And what is the disease? The disease that is that there is me and other, and I should be awake to the fact that there's only one thing, which is other. And that's not really it. That's not it at all. There's only one thing. And let's just, just say for the moment that what's talking is the only one, is the, is the one thing. I mean, if there's just one thing, is there any way that what's talking to you is not the one thing? I don't think so. What's talking to you is the one thing. And guess what you are? You're not the other thing. There is no other thing. You're the one thing too. And it's not two except for in appearance. Because what we're talking about here, for God's sake, we're talking about oneness. We are not talking about sameness. Oneness shows up in all kinds of ways. It shows up as, as Buddhas and trees and, 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 and units and, um, and hats and shirts and just in every which way. And it can turn, it's all these units and it's everything that is. That's consciousness, is that it is the foundation upon which all of these believed thoughts occur. <laughs> consciousness is, uh, I don't want to say it's the weaver of the dream because I never found a weaver, but it is the passage to the dream. And notice that passage did not start until there's the birth of a unit. It can be a dog unit, a cat unit, a deer unit, a squirrel unit. It doesn't make any difference. But human units have the unique, and we don't know it's unique. Um, we don't know what dolphins and apes and things like that really know, or birds. All uh, these many, there may be a whole ton of intelligent spe species, and we're just not intelligent enough to see it. Um, I know there's one, in, there's at least one species that's not as intelligent as it thinks. <laughs> So it couldn't be. Um, so this is oneness. Talking to oneness, oneness. So oneness, answer oneness. A question for oneness, answer a question for oneness. One thing going on, one thing going on. What can you do to become the one thing going on. 
You can't do anything. You can't avoid it. <laughs> You're already the one thing. There's only the one thing. But, 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 but stop the mind. Stop, just stop listening. Stop believing the mind. And that's going to prove to be difficult to impossible unless you use inquiry. And it's not easy then. I'm not, I don't want to tell you that, that waking up or post awake, waking up is fall, like falling out of bed. But post awakening is very challenging because we are what you, once you wake up, you will notice that the entire world is insane. And I swear to you, this is the truth. And, 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 and every awakened people, awakened being that you know, will repeat to you that the world is perfect, but it's also the, the people, every, all the people in it are insane. It's uh, so you, we can't, I can't actually wake up anybody, but in crazy people. And that's the way it's always been. And that's going to be the way it always is. As long as this is, is that it's going to be crazy people that I can wake up. So you're it, but you're crazy. <laughs> this is the truth. You're crazy. You're crazy because you think you're one of these. You may think that sounds crazy, but it's not. That's actually the same thing as recognize, gee whiz, one thing going on. I have to be it. I can't not be it. And if you don't believe in the concept of one, it's get the hell out of non-duality. It says non-duality, not to, right? Ad vita, not to. So if you're here and wondering, gee, I don't really know about this one this thing, go find a religion that addresses something other and something else because of, or philosophy or whatever the hell this is to you. <laughs> go find a different one because you ain't going to ever get there from here with, without the, well, you don't really get here. I mean, you don't, you don't wake up without the direct experience of the absence of a character. What is the experience, the, uh, the direct experience of absence? How can that, it doesn't even make sense, does it? But it's the absence of a character. What is it that can have the direct experience. Well, let's count them. There's uh, how many things? I'm going to go. So I'm going to start in this one. That's your turn. How many things are there? <laughs> how many things other than one are there? Am I going to need this whole hand to count? Or will this finger do it? This finger will do it. It's just one. You're it. There's just one. You're it. It's just one awakeness. You're it. So you're maybe a whiteness believing that you're a Tom over there. Okay, hang on to that as long as you want. But when you want to get suspicious of Tom instead of oneness, then you're going to be making real pro progress. Get suspicious of who you are. If this, this, if this video does nothing else for you, for God's sake, start being suspicious of relativity. It'll, it'll show itself to be ridiculous and insane and, and, and um, not logical, illogical and all that. It really will. The... Uh, you will see that all of these agreements that we have, these laws and these rules and everything, they're completely arbitrary. You know, I mean, there's no such thing as equal justice. <laughs> right? If you were rich, you get a whole lot better dose of justice than you do if you were poor, even if you're convicted. Few are, but some are. Few of the rich, at, at least. Be a while before we can put Elon Musk in the crazy house. The uh, because he's got so much money, he can stay out of it. Although I did read today that he's no longer the, the richest man in the world, although he still thinks he is, apparently, according to what's being said right now. But it's some other guy, I've forgotten what he even invented, but he or what he did, but is anyway, it's even bigger than Elon stuff. See, there's always something more in the sense that. The, it, the, the, you, we, we wake up and we think we've got it. I've got it. I've got it. If you, so the moment you say I've got it, what you're announcing to the world is I don't got it. To every awakened being on the planet, if you say I've got it, they're going to say, yeah, <laughs> no, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. Because there's no I here to have it. There's no I here to not have it. There's no getting this. There's no, there's no permanently awakened being over here. There is nothing about this illusion that is permanent. 
nothing. So if somebody trying to start talking to you about uh, uh, a permanent awakening, they're just talking from the loony bin again. They're just talking from the dream. So the dream is constantly trying to convince you that you are one of these. And it's doing a damn good job of it, isn't it? It's doing a wonderful job. And there's actually no mistake. It's not wrong to think that you are one of these. But if you are a seeking unit, you will find it torturous to believe that you are one of these. And and won't and because what you'll if you're if you're a seeking unit, you will just know yourself to be one of these, and you will know that this damn thing can't wake up. Or it won't. It can wake up, but it won't. That's what we think. But the, this actually can't wake up. It doesn't have the capacity. The mind does not even doesn't even, does not even exist as a separate thing. It's just a conglomeration of thoughts. When you question those thoughts, which is non-dual inquiry, that's what I specialize in. If you want to learn about inquiry, come to Satsang. Want to learn about inquiry? Book a session. I'm not care. You can do it from somewhere else, whatever. You know, that's fine. But just get involved in. It. I'm just saying that I do it, but so does Byron Katie, and you know, and and, and a Z and other people, most of whom I never heard of, right? Because I just I don't listen to other teachers much. You know, why would I? It's um, you know, you don't go back to the same well when you're when you're when you've got plenty of water. You just don't go to the well again, right? I got plenty of water. Why would I go back? And you might go back up, you know, just as a, as a sort of a, just want to check on things, right? Like go go back to the old neighborhood, but you ain't staying there. You, know, the, the, you, you just can't. Because a, a, most of the time, really, what I find is that uh, I find most non-dual teachers, frankly, to be unbearable. I just can't listen. I can't listen. I, just, but I don't listen because I can't listen. I just can't. I don't find it unbearable. Bearable. I really do not. And uh, so I very, spend very little time looking at anybody else's teaching that's alive. I look at a, a lot of Nisargadatta's. I look a lot at um, Ramana's. But well, actually, I don't even look a lot at theirs anymore. I get a little thing on my phone every day. It's all I need. I just It's just a little reminder. And that's really all I need. I just don't read anymore. I mean, I don't read much of anything anymore. Because why? Because I'm in the living room going, this is just fine. <laughs> and so sooner or later the unit probably go to sleep because everything's just fine the unit knows that there's no, no freak out no problem no worry no nothing so we've covered it inquiry is the way out i've told you talked to you about inquiry in a zillion videos i've got about 300 videos on youtube Go and ferret them out. Don't write me and ask Fred which ones are about the, the about the inquiry. Go find out for yourself. Get off your ass and apply yourself. It, you, you know you may think, but who's gonna do that? Don't question that stuff. It's, it's it's way out of your league at this point. Just because that's the problem. That's, I gotta I understand this. I, and I gotta know how it works. And how do awaken people? How do awaken awaken people think and act and uh, you know and and uh, and eat and make love and all that? And it's like, get out of here. Find out for yourself. Find out for yourself. That's my answer to all that. So it's been splendid. Thank you very much. I love you all. It's good to be back, and I will see you all soon. Bye for now.